Today I wanted to go over wire sizes to use with Kaizen relays and the control module and also discuss some differences between Tefsel, TXL, and what you'd find at uh, automotive parts store, like this stuff, what they call automotive primary wire, which is basically just thick jacketed. Ideally for the triggers and for everything on the control module, you really can't go wrong with 22 gauge. So to use a 22 gauge wire, you would just insert, depress, and that's it. Now, uh, another question that's actually just brought up, some people have said, well, it rattles. Well, what that is, is the free play of the levers so that you can get your finger underneath it. That's all that that rattling sound is. It's the free play in the input output levers. When it comes to the input output levers, the ideal size is 10 gauge. 10 gauge is perfect, whether it's TXL or Tefsel. So here's a Tefsel 10 gauge. Inserts beautifully the silicone seal grabs around the jacket and now that's stuck in there. So 10 gauge is perfect uh, here. And then also for the control module, so we'll release this wire. And for the control module, let's say we wanted to uh, insert a wire here in um, output three. So that's the second one down. I like to just use a pen. That's the easiest way to do it. So you would just depress, insert, and that's it. And then you would just run your loop over to this uh, relay here. Uh, this is a low side output. All the outputs on the control module are low sides. So the question is often asked, what wire size do I use for uh, inputs and outputs, uh, triggers, ground for the relay, and also for the control module? So let's go over that. First of all, not all wire is the same. So here you have a 10 gauge Tefsel wire. This measures 140 thousandths OD on the jacket. Okay, so that's 140,000 uh, Tefsel. Now, the same thing in TXL, which is a thin jacket, uh, slightly lower cost wire. This measures 153. So the same wire has a different outside diameter because the jacket thickness uh, is different. Now, if you get into something like um, just generic auto parts store stuff, so this is 18 gauge, but it's got a super thick jacket. So this 18 gauge wire is actually 111, 111 thousandths OD on average, depending on how you measure it. But this is 111 thousandths. Now you take 18 gauge TXL, and it measures 78 thousandths. And 18 gauge Tefsel measures only 60 thousandths. So that's a huge difference. Tefsel is almost half of the OD of this generic auto parts store stuff just because of the thickness of the jacket. So there's no way you're gonna get this in through that seal of the control module. It's just not gonna happen. But what I found is 22 gauge really is ideal for the control module. Uh, you're never gonna have a situation whether it's uh, Tefsel or TXL um, as long as you're using 22 gauge. So I would recommend 22 gauge um, as high as 18 gauge into the control module. However, 
Um, Tefsel would be ideal if you're going to use uh, a little bit larger wire like an 18 gauge. 